We were talking about the Intercontinental Championship tables match. They added that at the last minute, right before the pre-show. But, of course, we didn't see that. So I didn't figure out that it was a tables match until they announced it with a little uh, recapping the pre-show thing. Uh, Cody, for some reason, blames Ted, uh, Teddy for uh, spinning the wheel. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the whole Teddy Long thing that they're doing right now. Yeah, they're just demoralizing the guy. And then unless there's say it's a payoff, it's just cheapening the guy as a whole. But we ended up with a tables match between Big Show and Cody. And for the most part, it wasn't really that long. It was kind of just Big Show dominates and then the end happens. Which, uh, uh, well, before the end happens, a really good spot, I thought, was they had the table set up in the corner uh leaning up against the turnbuckles and Big Show throws Cody Rhodes into it and he bounces off and does the beautiful disaster kick. I thought that was great. That was the best part of the match. It was one of the highlights of the night, I think. Um, that spot aside, though, it ends with Big Show's on the on the uh, apron. Cody Rhodes gives him a drop kick. Big Show falls a little backwards but ends up stepping on the table and it breaks. <laughs> And Cody wins the match. And the way that this happened, I mean, we were all laughing about it because we thought that it was funny. But there were a lot of people that were really confused and thought that the match was botched and that that wasn't supposed to happen. Which I guess goes to show you how good Big Show was at selling it because he looked really shocked when it happened. But His uh, face sold that completely. Yeah. And then, yeah, of course, totally. they had to do the whole... Uh, Big Show destroys the shit out of Cody Rhodes afterward. Keep him looking strong and everything. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that, but... Did he actually get Cody hurt? Got the back. Did he actually what? Was he actually hurt afterwards? I heard it took him a long time to get back. I haven't heard of him being like any kind of injury or anything. He might have been banged up. Yeah, because it, it looked like he actually hit, got hit pretty hard on the... I guess by the announce tables when he got thrown out. Yeah, well, he got thrown far <laughs> and high, so I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I I know if you sent me through one of them, I'd be out for a fucking year. <laughs> well, it reminded me a lot of what he – wasn't uh, Big Show the one that injured Wade Barrett the same way? <laughs> Was he? I think so. He picked them up and threw them out just like that, and Barrett got hurt. Ziggler was looked like he was about to get hurt unless he was, again, taking the best bump in the company. And Kofi, like, almost died. <laughs> Jumped out on and uh, flipped over the steps and everything like that. That was a geez, that match was crazy. <laughs> they uh, as far as it goes with this with Cody winning the title back, I kind of uh, as long as they go somewhere with us with a, I like it because I like Cody as the champion, and. I'm perfectly fine with him staying champion for as long as possible, but I wish that they could have just kind of kept him as the champion and not had Big Show win the title in the first place. I get why they did it at WrestleMania, just because they were building up the fact that Big Show would never win, but really, I wish that they would have just kind of kept it on Cody, knowing that they gave it to him right back after this, you know what I mean? Yeah, How no, close was Cody to the record? Uh, he wasn't that close. To the uh, the full record, because Honky Tonk Man held it for how many weeks was it? Like sixty weeks or something? Okay, yeah, he wasn't that close. I didn't know if it, it was approaching to the record, and they didn't want to give it to him. I gotta look that up now. Uh, he was, I think, like the fourth highest, or like the like the fourth or fifth longest champion at okay. the time. Um, I don't remember who he's behind. Apparently, Wikipedia is giving me a whole bunch of bullshit. Maybe they're doing their whole uh, "we need more money" kind of thing. <laughs> they like to do. Please, that. please donate to us. Otherwise, we will lose out. Even though we're a billion dollar company. <laughs> okay, now I have it up here. We have Cody Rhodes. Currently, right now, with the amount of combined days, is at two hundred and forty-two. Now that's both title reigns and the highest amount of combined reigns was 619 days but honky tonk man's was 454 
So he would have he would have needed at least two hundred more days. So they probably wouldn't have even came close to that. Now, yeah, that wasn't even a consideration. I didn't know if it was close. Yeah, I thought it was actually a little bit closer than that. But come to think of it, now it kind of doesn't matter. So I retract that statement. <laughs> uh, but I, w- I want to see what they did with Cody as a champion. I like him better as the IC champ than Big Show. So we'll see. Um, what did you guys think of the match, though, overall? Kind of recap. I thought it was an okay match. <clears throat> it wasn't amazing, but it was okay. Um, wasn't too happy about the ending, but I understand why they did it. You didn't That's think that it, was too, that it was funny enough to warrant it? It was funny, but in the same sense, it was like... I felt him beating the living shit out of Cody Rhodes was a bit overkill. Oh, that part, yeah. I kind of yeah. agree with that. What did you oh, think, that Kermit? part of the ending, yeah. I thought you meant the way the match ended, which I enjoyed. Yeah. No, no, it was, it was fine, because it gave that whole bit of unpredictability to it. But the way that Big Show just came in and destroyed the, even, like, the crap out of Cody, it just kind of cheapened the win a bit. Because it was like, okay, you know... I can't stand here and celebrate my championship. Instead, I'm getting the living shit beaten out of me by this big guy. Which is something a face doesn't do. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part. They usually just kind of walk away all sad. Yeah. Cue the uh, Incredible Hulk theme. (laughs) 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 Then that's not going to be the outro for the week. All right, part six coming up is going to be the World Heavyweight Championship between Sheamus and Daniel Bryan. So stick, uh, stick with this, and we will go to that right now.